So next part of a habit, right, is the behavior. It's what you actually do that is the habit. So this is the practice habit. But to make it really work, you need to come up with a bite-sized behavior. And what I mean by bite-sized is small, something that you can focus on in one session that you could even do in maybe 15 minutes of practice. You could focus on that thing. So for me, I would work on one specific skill that related to something I had to show through my game documentation that would be better shown in Flash, right? So, you know, I had to show how this one... Uh, interaction worked where you click this button and a ball shoots out and hits a number right that's harder to explain in a meaningful way than it is to show so that's what I would work on I'd, I'd find that skill how do I show the ball moving from here and hitting the target all right so that's what I would look up that's what I would practice that's what I would develop right I didn't say I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna make a game right that's too much it's it's really hard for me to do um, and it's something that I'm then not going to practice or I'll get frustrated and quit because the more you have to try to figure out when you sit down to practice, the less likely it is that you'll do it. So another example would be, right, I could, I'm practicing soccer skills, right? But instead of just saying like, oh, I'm going to work on my soccer, right? I might just do passing. And so for each time I go to soccer practice for a little bit or um, on my own, I just practice passing, right? I do different drills for passing. I do those for maybe a week or a few sessions, right? That's a way to make sure that what you're doing is small enough that you could actually do it in just that session so that you can actually be successful and it's something that you will do regularly. And then you keep changing it as you get better. So if I get really good at passing the ball, um, in soccer, then maybe I move on to dribbling, right, for the next target. So for this, I was able to change each time. So what do I have to show now? Well, I'm showing a ball doing this. Oh, now I want to show um, how it works with, like, the mouse is being used as the trigger. Okay, here's, let me figure out how to do that, right? So that helped push me to learn the right thing at the right time um, without having to think th it through really specifically. Um, and making it again become something that was habitual and then something I did all the time, which means that it's something that I then got pretty good at because I practiced a lot.